Is it too late to buy Chainlink? Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video guys I'll be giving you guys another update on Chainlink on price prediction and technical analysis guys. So guys, one question I've been asked in my group a few times is, is it too late to buy Chainlink? Can you talk about when to buy Chainlink? So first of all, I'd, I'd like to, the first point I'd like to make is guys, when you look at this chart, this chart has gone up parabolic, it's gone up a thousand more than a thousand percent so in short guys if you're looking to get the best entry making looking to make the best gains the answer is no it's probably you've missed the boat it's like buying Bitcoin at ten dollars I mean I was I didn't buy Bitcoin at ten dollars but it, the the next question I'm gonna say is do you believe Chainlink? Do you believe in Chainlink as a project? Do you think it will go higher? So if you think Chainlink is going to go higher to you know ten dollars or whatever dollars, then then the answer is no. It is not too late to buy. But from a trading point of view and a finance, from from my trading experience, buying things that's gone up this much is not the best strategy. I mean, watch this video till the end. I'll I'll give you the answer of where are some potential zones you could be looking to buy so stay tuned and I'm going to share with you my thoughts in a bit more detail but I wanted to make that first point clear to you so before starting the analysis guys I would recommend you watch my previous chain link videos so I talked about chain link a month ago uh, four days ago I gave you guys an update when it broke out and then guys I also made a very detailed video on chain link about three about five months ago that is again subscribe to my channel if you haven't guys I think my content is quite different to everyone else on YouTube and um, I guess a lot of people just say Ripple going to hundred dollars, Litecoin going to a million dollars or whatever. I like to give you guys my perspective in a realistic point of view and I trade Forex and other markets so I like to think and know how the markets work so I definitely recommend you watch those videos I mean I wish I had hold on to my link and um, if you check again I'm, I'm completely transparent on this channel guys I bought chain link when it was breaking out breaking out higher and then I sold for a 60% profit I thought you know it's gonna pull back it did pull back I think I got another entry and I sold around around there so I was a bit disappointed that I didn't huddle because that would have been you know a monthly monthly maker or a yearly maker this much profit on on, on on one trade so I'm a bit disappointed but you know in trading you have to look at risk management and your strategy so that's all good it's gone up it's gone parabolic so where are some next zones you could look to buy so one thing that you can do in Chainlink is there's still a lot of volatility people are still you know looking at Chainlink everyone's asking me about Chainlink so that is you know what we see when things are very bullish so there are more potential opportunities for trade and going long so this was another nice trade I think it was a 16% trade um, let me see I posted this trade on the group before and after Facebook seems to be down so uh, you can't see the pictures if you, if you haven't joined the group it's completely free to join and I you know post signals as well as I mean I don't want to be a signals group but if you go into this unit you can see some of the trades I'm taking and I posted it before and after and some people uh, made money from it as well but again I want to be more of you know analysis and educational I don't want to give signals like some people do because it's more about you guys learning how I trade and, and using it to help you make your own decisions so that's something that you can do you know this was a good zone it was pulled back to my moving averages RSI was cooling down uh, in, in in the shorter time frames and it was a nice little trade to take and I did sell out guys I think again I didn't hold for the 25% profit one thing I don't like about Chainlink is a swing failure so when something breaks out higher and can't break out it's not very good so if we see here guys when it broke out it was a powerful move if you go previously when it broke this it was a you know powerful longer move so that's something I look for guys and you can see it broke out and then it then it then it closed below so that's not a brilliant sign so if you do like Chainlink again I highly recommend you watch my video and read about Chainlink everything about Chainlink if you want to invest it for a longer term and you think it will go to a higher value I'll look at the dollar chart as well but from a Bitcoin point of view guys this zone might be a good zone to look at guys it's the you know 50 percent to 60 618 level uh, that could be a good zone to look at previous highs as well so you know resistance turning to support so that could be a zone that you want to look at guys to buy so that's around the 250 uh, thousand satoshi level 
Also, guys, if you look at the longer term fit projections, again, this is something I use sporadically. I'm not saying this is exactly where it stops. But if you see these fit projections have made, it stopped at the 618 level previously. It, it had resistance close to the 2.24. And then, guys, it's found support on the 2618 and, and it's close to the 3618 as well. So this could be a resistance where we see a bigger pullback, like, you know, a 30, 40% pullback, which we have seen in, in LinkedIn before so this is a zone if you look at the previous pullback 30 40 percent pullback that could be a zone you look to buy so that's a potential zone to buy Bitcoin if you look at sorry link if you want to get into link the 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 USD dollar chart guys it's gone even more parabolic but it is consolidating sideways which is not a bad thing if if something you know if you look at some coins they they go up and they go down Chainlink is not doing that so it shows that you know there's still people looking to buy Chainlink it's not the worst pattern so you could look to buy the breakout of it as a trade or you know see if it breaks down if it breaks down you can you know sell and try to get in around the two dollar level there's lots of you know price action there this could will at least get a bounce i'm not saying that it will go to ten dollars again do your research on the project if you're investing investing is different from trading I'm, I'm giving sharing with you my thoughts on trading it if you're looking to invest in it please do your own research you know wait for it to move back to the daily moving average you can see it's held before so that could be another trade and also guys against the bitcoin value do keep an eye out for bitcoin because if bitcoin goes crazy then your chain link trade in the short term might affect if you're a long-term investor it might not affect you but on the short term guys it might affect you so uh, i'm going to be doing my live crypto trading analysis that i do tomorrow night every thursday night i'm doing live i'm going to answer your questions if you have questions about link if you have questions about whatever questions you have strategy questions I'm going to be live for at least an hour or even more to answer all your questions and if you have any coin requests guys you can message me or you know join the group and post in the group again Facebook it seems to be down and Instagram seems to be down but you can join the group and there's lots of options you can ask me which coins for, for me to look at link is at the top so it's a very popular one so yeah make sure you join me tomorrow on in YouTube guys for the live stream and then um, I've got a few different platforms you can subscribe to my YouTube channel that's the only thing I ask you again you don't have to take my courses i mean i don't sell courses but mentoring or whatever all i ask from you guys is guys is subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification button if you find my content helpful and uh, you can follow me on twitter I've, I've started a telegram group the link should be below few people have asked me for that and it's a different platform people seem to be quite knowledgeable there so uh, the, we're building a community there but the facebook is the main community where seems to be the most popular so thank you very much guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video my question to you guys is do you think chain link will go higher or do you think it is going to top out and it's going to pull back